Today we're in the beautiful and new um, test kitchen of Albion Fisheries with Chef Karen Barnaby. Hi Karen. Hello. We are so happy to be here. Could you tell us what you're preparing for us? Uh, today I'm preparing a sardine dish that's sardines with a marinade called charmoula. And that's a Moroccan inspired dish that goes really well with sardines because there's lots of cilantro and parsley and garlic and lemon and spices. And it complements the sardines perfectly. Okay, and not a lot of people use sardines. No, they? they don't, but they're fabulous, especially when they're in season. They're just wonderful fish to use. Wonderful. Well, let's get started. And they're inexpensive. Even better. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to start with some garlic. Okay. Stand back. <laughs> and feel free to chime in anytime you want. You want to ask questions? Yeah, I, I actually would love to know um, why sustainability matters to you because it's my understanding that that was underpinning a lot of your um, a lot of your choices as you've been a chef for for many many years. Well, the ocean is like the lungs of the earth, and I, I look at things like a big, and how it affects everything because everything in the ocean works together in a certain way, and that's the way it should work. And that's what helps sustain life on the planet. And if you start messing around with that stuff or removing things or, you know, devastating things, it's not going to survive. The whole ocean won't survive, which means we won't survive. So I want survival <laughs> for a long time. I mean, I won't be alive, but <laughs> I like to think of the future. Yeah. Okay. So... We have garlic, and I've just chopped it, and I've mashed it to a bit of a paste with salt. Because I'm not be using a food processor today, I'm just doing everything by hand. Okay. So I don't make any noise. So I have the spices. There's some paprika, and some coriander seed that's ground, some cumin seed, some chilies. I'm going to add some olive oil. Some red wine vinegar. Or you can use white wine vinegar. Stir that up. So this is finely chopped cilantro and parsley. And these two ingredients are commonly used in together. Uh, in Moroccan food and also in South American food. I know it seems odd because they're so strong together and we're, or separately, but together they work really well. So why do you like this kind of um, rub? I guess it's going to be a rub? Well, yeah, well, it's, it's not a rub. It's more of a, a marinade because it's wet. Okay. And why do you feel that this complements the sardines so nicely? Because sardines are oily and they're, they're um, not, str I wouldn't call them, str well, I guess they are strongly flavored. And what this does is it just complements those flavors. Like, the, you know, the, the oiliness of the sardine and the succulents. So this is, this is sour and it's a little bit spicy. Mm. And a little bit of lemon juice. I mean, one of my favorite ways to serve them is just grill them, put herbs on like oregano, thyme, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper and grill them and just eat them like that. Mm. That's very simple and it's very tasty. And then what happens with the skin? It kind of, you can just peel it right off? No, no, eat the skin. Eat the skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <like> crispy treat. <laughs> Best part. Just tasting it for seasoning. I'm getting the sardines now. So, just make a li little cuts, not all the way down to the bone, but just through them like that for the seasoning to penetrate. And I'm going to pour the marinade directly onto here to save dishes because who likes doing dishes? <laughs> do you? No. Neither do I. <laughs> Nor do I like to dust. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> okay. 
And these don't have to sit for any period of time? Well, I mean, it, it's better if you let them sit for half an hour with the marinade on them. So half an hour refrigerated. So is it important to keep the fish kind of cool before you um, start cooking it, or is it fine just to um, well, have you know it at what? room temperature? It's important to keep fish cold all the time. Yeah. And the reason why is because, well, you know the reason why, because their body temperature is lower than mammals. And that's why you always see fish in stores on ice, because it will keep longer that way. So if you keep your fish in the fridge with some ice, like, you know, either have some, not ice that's exposed, but ice in a bag, and put the fish on top of that, or under it, depending on the fish, they will last a, long, a longer time. So we're going to pop these under the broiler and uh, turn them over once. It takes about, oh, eight to ten minutes. Okay. That'll be good. Wow, look at that, Karen. They and are so fast. So fast, yeah. sizzling, and beautiful. And this is perfect. See where the skin's a little bit brown and crisp? That's yeah. good. And then we can pour these juices over these sardines. Amazing. Yeah. So what do you do now? Just put it on a plate? Well, and well put it on a plate and serve it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I would imagine two per person would be quite adequate, so I'll put... There, now it's perfect. Beautiful.